Frankie, ma, 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 ma. <laughs> if you want to add excitement particle effect to your project, like this one, wow, so exciting. In simple way, this video is for you. Hi everyone, this is Dyson. Welcome to my channel. Okay, before I begin, let me tell you, we have a Discord server now. It's available on my Patreon. This is an awesome community, just, you can say private community, top of the top. So if you're interested, the link in the description. So let's begin. Houdini, it's master of magical stuff. Particle magical stuff. It's everywhere, honestly. In the games, you see? Wow, that's amazing. Even in the movie, you see, Marvel and Harry Potter. So, in this video, we are going to see how we can do that in simple way. For instance, let's take this one. You see, in this one, we need the pyro, we need particle, we need lightning strike, we need a particle when a lightning strike colliding on the ground, you see that? So, to be honest, all that will take time in Houdini. So, how we can do that in simple way? we need an alternative. So for that, we watched every piece of this magical stuff, as you can see in Twitter and everywhere, this reference. And with that, and with help of my Discord community, we come up with Spark X. Let me show you what it is. For example, let's say we have this circle, and we're gonna animate that using transform. It's simple animation, rotation animation. So because we have an animation, we need a velocity. I want to uh, calculate the point velocity based on this animation. So we have the point velocity. So now with the spark X, all you have to do, just think about your simulation and what is driving your simulation. For example, in this one, we have velocity driving the simulation. So we have the velocity and I want pyro, for example, smoke pyro. And you see, we have these dots so that's the proof for SparkX uh, taking curve as an input but for now i need polywire i want a thick uh, geometry so as you can see we have this pyro smoke and you can uh, control voxel size and particle size but i need a variation i will go with mountain the noise on p position and i want to uh, animate that you see we have decent smoke uh, pyro just with one click that's amazing guys so we have that and we have the life life it's uh, basically dissipation for uh, smoke and life spawn for fire so this is uh, our initial uh, simulation and we have disruption here and turbulence as you can see and we have this gravity you see all that it's working so now we have the gravity i want to have a ground as a collider so let me create a box and let's name that ground and let's place it beneath our simulation and you see that this is our ground in here and now we can drag that to the collision and as you can see let me uh, decrease the life we can see the simulation you see that now we have a collide a smoke colliding with the ground in here so now let me rename that for example smoke and i want to cache that you see that's so important first name your node and cache that because it's depend on it so that's amazing now we have internal cache inside the node without you go without you need to go create this file cache manually you see that that's amazing so far so good if you like this kind of video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content now i want lightning strike so i want to create another spark kicks in here and as you can see we have this electricity as you can see we have an amount and we have this length so this simulation is driven by velocity and you see you can uh, set the color in here but instead of velocity i want to drive this simulation by geometry target geometry so i want to drag that in here and as you can see let me reset the length in here and as you can see we have 
our lightning strike and you can manipulate the length and the segment and the angle of uh, that and that's amazing you see that so now we have our electricity so we have consistency in here this is by frame if if i set that to one the uh, the simulation will change uh, frame by frame as you can see you see that you can uh, increase the growth this is will have uh, animation to the growth of this supply or curve zero means no growth you see and let me select that and boom you see now we have we have a, a, a decent lightning strike in here you see that that's amazing and we have these sparks it sparks it's a you can say a particle of flying electricity particle of flying yeah something like that and as you can see this is our simulation and now we can rename that and we can file cache that so as you can see we have our lightning strike cached in here and as you can see it's uh, emitting from all the geometry but instead of that i want to adjust the distance between these two geometry between the input and the target i want to make that close to each other you see that and let me catch that and i want to merge uh, these two the smoke and the lightning strike and as you can see we have that that's amazing you see that now the details let's go adding a detail first one it's a particle when lightning strike is colliding so i want to layer spark x from this thunder and i want to go with hitting instead of uh, generating every frame in generator tab and i want to see how we can do that and in there i want to enable the particle as you can see this is too much because uh, the lightning strike it's crazy with the velocity and so i want to yeah manipulate the speed in here this is basically velocity multiplier that's good maybe increase uh, decrease the number and the, the color yeah let me change that and you see we have that but the speed the speed is too much i want air resistance in in the force tab and you see that's amazing so it will emit particle when lightning strike uh, colliding with the ground in here you see that that's amazing now we can go to the shape and trail and we're gonna have uh, we're gonna add trail to this particle based on the velocity that's so amazing honestly so now let me merge that and yeah okay we can adjust the life you see and we have something like that you see that so charming honestly now let's add a smoke for lightning strike because lightning strike by nature it's so hot so for that i want to create another spark x and i want to enable the pyro and as you can see we have this decent smoke and fire and you see we can adjust the voxel size and we can adjust the life and we can adjust the color in here you see that that's amazing so now we can rename that and file catch that boom simple as that and you see that's with the smoke for lightning strike that's amazing and this is the simulation whole simulation but let me adjust the field in here i want to show you for a visual purpose only i renaming the field and i add a volume visualize and yeah you can do some something like that you see that that's awesome okay this is spark x 0.1 we're gonna make it better and better in every version so if you're interested it's available on my patreon and big shout out for these amazing people on my patreon so the giveaway time this asset it's available for free for treasure member and champion member so if you're interested just join so with that have a good day goodbye